What's up YouTube fans? Welcome to my channel. Today we are discussing my F86 Sabre ducted fan 90mm jet. It was 3D printed on that guy right over there, that BIQU. So let's go ahead and check this guy out. So here are the speed brakes, aka flaps. I'm sorry, that's not the speed brakes, that's just the flaps. I gotta adjust that servo because it's trying to pull on one side harder than the thing can go, so that's why you hear that noise. But I just need to make a micro adjustment, I just haven't figured out how to do that in a remote yet. Here are the speed brakes. It has a three position, one of the servos burnt. So I ordered another one, but of course with shipping and holidays, it's gonna take forever. So that's position two, that's position three, back to two, zero. Or I can go all the way to three and all the way back to zero. Let's look at our rudder. Oh, that's our rudder. Let's look at the rudder. And Let's look at the elevator. And now let's look at the ailerons. Now this thing is extremely fast. Let's take a look at the inside here. This canopy at some point will be see-through because of the project that this is gonna become. You got two 14.8 lithium batteries in here that are um, 50C as far as discharge and six amps each battery. And then I have a 120 amp here engine controller unit with a 12 channel uh, radio link receiver. It also transmits two out to my receiver. It lets me know the battery voltage when I have it connected. I don't have it connected right now. Cause again, that's one thing I have to set up on the radio and I haven't gone through those menus yet to set it up. And then here's the landing gear and it's steerable. But anyways, uh, let's check out the horsepower on this guy. So right there, that's about 20% power. That's about 35%. That's 50 right there. So at 50%, this thing wants to take off and this thing is fast. Right there, it's at 30, so I guess depending on the surface of the ground, it can take off at a lower Dutch fan speed, but this guy has a lot of power to him. If you look at the box in the back, well, you can see what's being blown across the floor. I guess I should have swept better. So yeah, this guy is very powerful. Um, the purpose of this project is for two, do two different projects. It's a search and rescue for civilian use, and it's going to be search and destroy for military use. Same, same coding almost, except for one's going to look for humans and things that it needs to find, and the other one's going to look for targets to find. So either way, search is a common factor on this aircraft. But this won't be the final aircraft version. This is just for testing. I like the way this aircraft flies. I like, you know, the bay of it, of me being able to stick the electronics. Especially since I'm gonna stick the electronics inside this canopy, but I'm gonna make another one that's see-through. I mean, this one's kind of transparent, but you don't wanna, you don't wanna put cameras through that. 
and see i dropped it no damage at all so very durable i, I love the pla that i ordered for it but um that's it for today guys if you like the video give it a thumbs up if you don't like the video give it a thumbs down but leave me a comment um if you're not a subscriber yet hit that bell button and become a subscriber and thanks for watching see you on the next video